Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here today. I'm Augustus Namonitis, the president of the HEOS Tourism Organization. I'm going to talk a little bit about our island, and I'm going to give you a little presentation, show you a little presentation about the island. HEOS, so full of life all year round, I'm waiting for you to discover. Hios Island, truly unique in the Aegean and the world. And we're going to give you a few examples of why we're unique and truly an amazing island. Hios, in a brief, I'm going to give you a few things here to talk about. Vivid all year round. Ideal for island hopping. Hios as a destination consists of a group of islands, main island Hios, and the islands of Sara and Inusis. Hios is three islands and consists of three islands. It's the big island of Hios, and there's another two small islands that are right next to Hios, which is Psaras and Inusis. It's located in the North Aegean, the fifth largest island in Greece, and the 10th in the Mediterranean. Maximum altitude is 1,297 meters, and the highest peak is Pirineon Mountain. Um, this Hios is not like other islands. Hios has a lot of mountains, which is amazing because you could go hiking and mountain climbing, and it gives Hios an amazing scenery. Uh, the population of Hios is 51,000 inhabitants, and that's why Hios is all year round because the island uh, has 51,000 people living on the island, so nothing pretty much closes. The island, people live on it. There's a university on the island, and a lot of people living on the island. So all the restaurants, cafes, everything that's on the island do not close in the winter and throughout the year. The climate, first in clarity, third in sunshine in Greece all year. Small seasonal temperatures change without extreme phenomena. In the spring, you get about 16 to 24 degrees, summer 25 to 30 degrees, and autumn 13 to 20 degrees. These are some really nice pictures of Hios, which I'm gonna get into details about different pictures also later on in the presentation. I'm just gonna, say a few details here. That's one of our, um, in the middle of the, of the presentation, in the picture, that's uh, one of our caves of Hios. And also on the top left, that's I used to see that was a little church where we have a lot of weddings. Okay, how to come here. Flight connections we have from Athens, Thessaloniki, Lesbos, Limnos, and Samos Islands. Those are other islands that are really close by and we have connections by flight. Rhodes Island and Oslo, Norway. In the middle of the picture, that's the windmills of Hios. Beautiful mm -hmm. to see all year round because depending on the time of year, this the colors in the sky are amazing to take pictures over there. On our left is Pidigis Village, which there's going to be pictures also farther down, which all the houses are drawn on, like you see in that. It's an amazing sight to see. And also on the bottom is Langala village, a fish village with lots of fish taverns. Continue with the how to come to Hios through Piraeus, which is Athens, Thessaloniki, Lavrion Attica, which is also Athens, but it's the second port of Athens, Kavala city, which is close by Thessaloniki, which is all the way on the top north of Greece. So there's a connection from there too. Nearby islands, Psara and Inusis. Like I said earlier, the islands consist of three islands. So we have connections to those other two islands, Psara and Inusis, and you could do a little island hopping with those little islands, which they're really beautiful, beautiful beaches and many things to see. Uh, North Aegean islands, Lesbos, Ikaria, Samos, Limnos, and Aistratis. Those are bigger islands, Greek islands that you could do island hopping to, which are also really close by. And you could have a stay in Chios, jump to Lesbos, go next to Ikaria. You could do your own little planning of how you want to either get to Chios or continue your holiday vacation to other islands. Uh, Kiklades Islands, South Aegean, Syros and Mykonos, two known islands, which we have a connection to there too. And uh, Dodekan is South Aegean, Patmos, another island we have connection, and Chesme City, Turkey. Uh, here I want to say a little detail that Chesme, Turkey is only about 20 minutes mm -hmm. away, depending on the ferry you're going to take. There's ferries every day. Uh, three different companies do ferry boat trips. And on the bottom where you see a picture of our port, 
uh, you take the boat from the port and in about 20 minutes, you're in another country, another continent, which is really amazing. Just to get that experience of visiting two countries and there's daily trips with tour buses and you could see another country. Okay, let's move on. Unique by nature, by sea and by its people. Mastic, a tree that gives a magical tears only here and nowhere else in the world. Mastic is a product, um, I would say a superfood, an ancient superfood that only grows on the island of Chios. It's the Mastic Tears. That's why we also have a Mastic Museum, which I'm gonna mention farther in the presentation. It's an amazing product. Uh, it's used for cooking, gastronomy, for uh, just chewing on its own. It's good for your teeth. It's good for your stomach. It's used as a medicine and it's amazing. You have to come and try it by yourself, but you could also find it in worldwide in many shops and all over the world. Uh, Homer traces uh, the re renowned uh, Greek ancient poem are numerous and visible. Um, Homer's rock is also on Hios, where you could go and sit on Homer's rock where Homer used to teach. Uh, we have Lalades and tulips. Uh, you will find 91 of Europe's 108 tulip species. Another detail is uh, lalaves are actually total, something totally different than tulips. Lalaves are um, the, the word that we use in heels for tulips, but the 91 of Europe's 108 are not the tulips, they're orchids actually. So it's something totally different, lalaves and orchids. Two different amazing plants, flowers that grow on the island uh, are those. Castrojoria, the castle villages of Mastic, they're vivid uh, for centuries. Um, if you visit them, they're really amazing to see those castle villages on the island. Birhi village, the one of a kind village with the painted houses that I showed you earlier. Gambos, a territory of unique architecture and aromas of citrus. It's the old mansions of Hios, which are in the Cabos area. Very beautiful area to go walk around, take a bike and just roam around uh, Cabos area, you'll be amazed. Uh, sea and, uh, and nautical history, glorious relation with shipping and sea for you to uh, rely, relive. Um, there's also, um, a, uh, you will find a museum that has to do with shipping and sea and everything like that. And But I'm gonna also mention those later on in the presentation about the museums. Ruketo Polemos, Rocket War, a hero's tradition during the Orthodox Easter. The Rocket War, if you just do a simple Google search, uh, maybe you've even seen it on the news on CNN, BBC, worldwide. Every year we're on the news because of the Rocket War. It's amazing. It's two churches that shoot handmade rockets between the two churches. And it, whoever wins is the person that hits the church bells the most time. Our lifestyle is authentic and we invite you to see sea life from swimming to scuba diving to yachting and able history taste and aromas like nowhere else mastic and citrus that i mentioned earlier a good life to enjoy holiday leisure or tourism uh close to earth agriculture and farming in, in traditional way Hios has what you like uh, what you're looking for it's got everything for example cafes uzeri taverns bars theater cinema cultural sites festivals and these are things that are going on all year round. Like I said, it's 356 days a year because Hios never closes, 51,000 people living on the island. Uh, this is another picture down on the left of Ayos Isidoros Little Church. That's a wedding going on actually, a traditional wedding where you see horseback and they're bringing the, the couple to the church over there. A beautiful beach that you see on top. Um, this is a table full of all different types of Greek food. The amazing part of the Greek food and the gastronomy is that most of the stuff is made grown on the island. So you're eating really fresh food, just like the seafood, lots of fishermen, and you get amazing, amazing Greek food, traditional food on the island. On the far up left, you see a lady collecting mastic. Those are the mastic trees must see when you come to the island. Civilization traces through the ages. Neamoni, the historical monastery with its renowned mosaics. It's a UNESCO site, Neamoni. And it's a monastery that you will see all the, all the way on the bottom left. 
that's the monastery. It was actually built by the same people that built Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. Uh, Mastic farming and its historical, cultural, economical, and social reflections. Homer, the ancient poem, the myths and legends, just like I said earlier. And the picture right in the middle, that's Homer's rock that I mentioned earlier also. Uh, the Modios Corais, the important representative of the Greek age of enlightenment. Christopher Columbus, the great explorer who allegedly lived in Hios, which you could see things in Piri because it was said that he lived in Piri, which people still have his name and it's their last name, Columbus. And there's a house that actually has still his name on it, that it was allegedly that that was his house that he lived in. Feast your eyes on Hios 365 days. That is a picture of Piri, the, the village that all the houses are drawn on. Amazing village. Okay, here we're going to the island that's next to Hios, which is Psara Island, an island of distinct beauty and unique vibes, a small place of great historical importance from fifth century BC, the birthplace of free spirited people and heroes and masters of the sea. Northwest of Hios, 61 minutes by boat starting from Volisos village. Also, there's a boat that connects from Hios port, which that's a longer boat ride, which is four hours, but that's also certain days of the week. So Saras Island is an amazing island, beautiful beaches like you see in the picture here, and a must spot that you should go and see. Do a little island hopping to Psara. Also another island hopping that you could do right next to us is Inusis Island. Inusis Island is actually a group of nine smaller islands uh, with authentic beauty of place of unspoiled nature, Natura 2000, with a vivid naval tradition. Don't miss it, Spanigiria, its traditional dances and festivals during the summer. Northeast of Hios, 25 minutes by sea. Taxis starting from La Gala village, or 50 minutes by boat starting from Hios main port. Hios villages, the soul of Hios. You should explore them all, because most of them, like I said earlier, are castle villages, and you must see them. So uh, a few of them are, for example, Cardan, Mila, La Gala, Volisos, Afgonima, Thimiana, Lithi, Pirgi, Mestao, Libi, Cataractes, Calamuti, Calimasia, Nenita, Armoya, and many more. Okay, so special and so many you'll, things you'll find on the island at a glance and about the beaches. Hios uh, has 92 accessible beaches all over the island, 15 with that are actually blue flag uh, certifi certified, 18 organized, two accessible to persons with mobile requirements. In the picture, you, um, I'm gonna just give you one example of the first beach that I mentioned was Mavravoya, and it's the beach that's on the top left. It's a black pebble, pebble beach, which is from a volcano. Must go, very unique, won't find it anywhere. Just look at the colors and you can understand, but it's much different when you come and swim. And the bottom of the water is black. You could see the tiniest little, little fishes swimming right by you. Amazing experience. You will love it. These are a few of the 92 beaches you can enjoy. Mavravoya, like I said, Ayos Isidros, Afanis Naftis, Ayairini, Ayafotini. I'm not going to go through the whole list. So, so many. And also on Saras Island, Inusis Islands. Uh, our museum, Centuries of History, uh, just like I said earlier, the Hios Mastic Museum, which is the picture on the top. Amazing, amazing museum, very new, just a few years old, was created because everyone was coming to the island and wanted to find out more information about Mast Mastic, Masticha, and now you could enjoy that experience and many tours do. It's one of the most um, we're pr very proud of this museum because lots and lots of people go to this museum and it shows our heritage, it shows what Hios is about, must visit. Uh, the Archaeological Museum of Hios, which is also really amazing, you will find all different types of art artifacts at the museum. Marine Time Museum of Hios, which is all about marine time. Folklore Museum of Ariedi, Korais Library, which um, is right in the center of Hios with a beautiful uh, statue in the front of Corais, Byzantine Museum of Hios, um, the Municipal Gallery of Hios, the Museum of Neamoni, which is the UNESCO Museum and the, the Monastery of Neamoni, Folklore Museum of Kalimasia, Marine Time Museum of Inusis, and Perivoli, a museum dedicated to citrus.
Okay, these are a few pictures of the museums and interior of the museums, as you could see. And the amazing part also about the Mastic Museum is that you could touch the Mastic, you could see all the old machines, how they used to process the Mastic and get, get it to become chewing gum, how it's used in food, all the different products, really good experience. Also in the other museums, great experience. Must see sites and spots of history. Daskalopetra, Hormuz rock that I said earlier, archaeological site of Eborios, the temple of Apollo in Fana, Anavatos, medieval village, ancient settlement of Romocastro, castle of Chios, Ottoman cemetery in Chios, Vigles, watchtowers of Yaeleni, uh, Carfa village, Pahi, uh, Mesta. Here I'm going to give a little explanation. There's another one in Lith, by Lithi village. The watchtowers are as you're driving. On the whole one side of the island, you will see watchtowers. And from every watchtower, you could see another two, one on your left and one on your right. You see those and beautiful scenery. There's beaches always underneath and because there's 92 beaches on the island. So amazing experience going down to the beach, uh, going for a swim, taking a dip, and also having a beautiful view of the watchtowers on top. Um, moving on to Cabo's territory, Lobocomio, the old leper colony of Hios, Volisos Castle, and Apollonon Castle, Almoya. These are three different pictures. Um, I'm going to stick to the one on the bottom right, which is Anavatos. Amazing village on the top of a cliff. Must go to the top. It looks like it came out of a movie. Must see, must see. And all of those. Really close to Neamoni, which is the monastery, so you can combine both. Another picture of Pirgi with the drawings on, on the houses. This is actually on the church in the middle of Pirgi village in the square. Uh, whatever you're looking for, Hios will reward you. Hios gastronomy, all the flavors of Hios in your plate. Uh, gastronomy experiences, the Hios Master Museum, Hios local cuisine lessons, Hios Uzo distilleries, Gabos with its importance in states full of citrus fruits, Hios wines in their connection with Homer, Suma, spirit made from figs, traditional distillery, Hios handmade pasta, handmade ceramic artifacts for cooking, food production sites you can visit is the brewery, juiceries, herbs, snails, cheese making, traditional wood ovens, goat milking, distilleries, wineries, handmade pasta, etc. Those are places that you can visit and see how everything is made. All the flavors of Hios in your plate. These are a couple of our gastronomy events, Lagada Village Taste Festival, Pitios Village Taste Festival, Mastic Festival and Mastic Villages, uh, Feast of Suma Distillery, which goes on in a few villages. An example is in the Ayoyori Sikusi, Fisherman Fest at Mesta Village. Uh, authentic traditional products of Hios, like I mentioned earlier, mastic, uzo, honey, pastelarias, suma, citrus fruits, almond butter and peanut butter, pasta, snails, uh, broad beans, cheese and dairy, uh, kurmades, olives, wine, beer, uh, spoon sweets, herbs, and bakery products. The ones that have the little stars next to them are, pro you only find them on the island of Hios, unique. You can find them great. You must, ex I have to explain it to you. To, it, very hard. You have to taste it to understand it. Hard to explain. Wandering through beauty. Hios is an ideal destination for nature lovers and eco-tourists all year long. Although an island, it offers countless trails and routes leading to mountains, canyons, rivers, inaccessible historical monuments, mastic trees, farms, and unique flora. Explore them all. Exactly what I was saying earlier, because Hios is not like other islands, which are just flat. Hios has a lot of mountains, very different, the scenery, as you could see, there's little rivers, all, the paths in Hios are amazing, you can take ancient trails, must see, must do. Some of the paths and hiking routes are from Ayyani Tayogala, Ayus Pateras Teneamoni, Volisos, Malagioti Valley, Panaya Neromilos, Armoya, the castle of Polychonon, Cambion uh, Gorge, Olibi Temesta, Cardamila, Tegrias Castle, and Fa, Talithi, etc. Uh, uh, valleys, vineyards, and groves, uh, just like I said earlier with about the orchids, 108, 
different types of orchids, lalada, which are the tulips, just like you find in, in Holland, but they here in Hios, they, draw, they grow naturally in fields in March, filled with red uh, tulips, citrus, mastic trees, and vines. Uh, remarkable, remarkable monasteries and churches in Hios. Monasteries, Neamoni, Mudon Monastery, Mercinidi Monastery, Virgin Mary Monastery, Ayipateres Monastery. I'm not going to name them all. One of the very famous ones is Ayamarquela. And then you will also find them Saras Island and Inusis Island. Churches, also many, many Greek churches, beautiful ancient churches, Byzantine churches. You must visit the churches and the monasteries. Really nice experience. Um, enjoy authentic moments in Hios, which things are going on all year round. Karabakia, uh, which is the traditional bow modeling crafting, which goes on around Christmas, New Year's, and there's an event going on that shows it in one of the pictures. They make beautiful model boats and decorate them for the holidays. Mostra Carnival, which is really amazing you could see a few pictures where they're fighting with swords they it's a whole pirates uh theme going on and carnival and people dressed up very nice agas traditional festival that goes on in mesta um and a couple of other villages on the south part of the island custom of the double traditional festivals and gastronomy festivals that i said earlier other events going on in Hios is the Hios running, sailing, Aegean regatta, scuba diving, hiking, canyoning, climbing, cycling, cruises, Hios Tango Festival. Uh, I'm just going to give you a, a few, a little bit more information about the Hios running. It's a, it's a mini marathon that goes on in the Cabos area where I said are all the mansions, the big mansions, ancient mansions of Hios. And it's an amazing experience for people that love marathons because they're running through Cabos area, which is all citrus trees and old uh, mansions. Hios uh, nature and environmental protection, natura areas in Hios, Mount Pilinels, which I said is the highest mountain in Hios, Anavatos, north part of Hios, Dolphin, Campos, Hios, Mesta, Neamoni, Inusis Island, Saras Island, Nagos of Hios, Mabravoya Beach in the Amborios region, Piri, Hiofana. Well, at this point is the end of my pr uh, presentation about the island of Hios, and I really hope I see you on the island, hope to see you in Hios soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.